Right now, the jury is still deliberating the fate of the Grain Valley couple accused of murder and child sex crimes. It's a case we've been following here on Fox 4, Fox 4's Reagan Porter live at the Jackson County Courthouse downtown. With the latest, uh, Reagan, the jury's still out, deciding if Michael Hendricks and Maggie Ibarra might face life in prison for murder here. Correct, that's right, John, and we're just outside the courtroom, and we do not yet know, we have not heard a verdict from the jury just yet. They began deliberating this afternoon just before one. During closing arguments Thursday, the prosecution said Michael Hendricks made these Google searches less than a month before Kenzie Aubrey was killed. What is the quickest way to kill a person? Strangled and behead. The jury also saw he later made searches about chainsaws, disposing dead bodies, and asked Google, are child counselors mandated reporters? The jury also heard testimony from a 16-year-old who said she was told to dress in lingerie and get intimate with the defendants. When she refused, she said the suspects told her about having killed a woman showing her photos. The prosecution argued the pair was living in a fantasy. <laughs> that ended when the teen led authorities to Aubrey's body, buried on Hendrick's property. Yabarra's defense argues Hendrick's was controlling and he would talk to her like his pimp. The prosecution argued Yabarra's mother testified that her daughter and Hendrix showed her pictures of Aubrey's body in a freezer. She said they were bragging that it took four minutes for Aubrey to die. Hendricks's attorney argued that the key witnesses are not reliable, saying Yabara's mother, Ruth Lonez, testified about having mental health issues and was not taking her prescriptions. He also said Yabara's mother said she has previously been convicted for possessing a controlled substance. Now, while deliberating, the jury asked how long they had and if they could go into tomorrow. The judge responded, saying they're welcome to take as much time they needed tonight and, if they needed to, to go into tomorrow. So, John, we'll keep you updated. We'll be here to bring you the latest.